I was on my knees, not sitting Thank down. You. Technically. Thank you. Now I like you on your knees, but not today. Today you guys are. This standing. is this is fucking ridiculous. No, I hope it's you not. Know that. This it's is ridiculous. ridiculous. You guys fucked up my show and I asked this you not is to. Can I tell? We're gonna get Shannon on right now. Get Shannon through right now. I'm gonna tell Shannon what happened. What? No, uh, Shannon was waiting for a wheelchair. The wheelchair came. She she had to hang up. Call her back. She told me she was gonna call me back if she could. Call her she's not a wheelchair not crutches she could use her hands and fucking call fucking asshole what a jerk off like shannon's his boss that's the way he just acted that was yeah. crazy did you see that i did million percent gotta keep these people in check lewis fucking wild what's happening wild. So here's what happened shannon had a she had surgery right so dylan is normally the co-producer of the show and harrington is normally a homeless guy that hangs out in the <laughs> courtyard that we asked to do things so bobby hutch our ep for the network asked Harrington to sit in the first chair position, the, the producer position, because to fill in for Shannon today. The big boy chair. The big boy chair. <laughs> so Dylan was like, whoa, dude, why is Harrington being asked to sit in the big boy chair when I'm the second producer on the show? Why wouldn't I be moved over to producer, producer, and then Harrington put in the second chair? So what I said was, I don't give a fuck. You guys can suck my fucking dick. Produce the show. Don't fuck up. I don't care who does what. Now, logically speaking, they're both in positions they're not normally used to being in right now. So that's mm -hmm. why they're both fucking up. So instead of being efficient and Dylan just doing the normal job that he does and just tapping it in and letting Harrington deal with the brunt of the fuck-ups, now they're both dealing with the brunt of the fuck-ups because egos had to get in the way. They couldn't just fucking let their egos fucking stay outside like I always ask them to do. Rules of the fucking gas digital studios. Egos at the door. Leave your egos at the door. You're just talking to me. It's my, my ego. Absolutely. This is, this is a show I've been on for a year. I'm here to do well. I'm here to you're not Move even up. putting a we fucking a SoundCloud beat underneath yourself speaking. Because I'm producing. I you're don't want to You're not allowed that. to. But that's the thing. You're not producing the show. Anytime you speak on the show, there's a SoundCloud beat because you're a wigger. <laughs> and that needs to fucking be articulated to the audience. They, they understand it. They're, they're listening to your voice like, why is he speaking so wiggery? And then when they hear the SoundCloud beat, then they go, oh, that makes sense. It's wiggerish. I, I just Dylan, like to... If you want to stay a house wigger, why don't you put on that SoundCloud beat? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I just like to point out I haven't fucked up yet, and I'm standing for some reason. Well, you probably have Harrington. Let's get real. Okay. And then, can I, you just fucked up there. Can I point it out? How so? Can I point it out? The lack of team unity. Yeah, I'm not Instead on Dylan's being, team. No, you are. You. F How can I make him stand up further? <laughs> Is there any way to straighten his fucking spine out more? It's not about you. It's not about Dylan. It's not about your personal fucking glory, doggy. It's about fucking creating the greatest podcasts on earth for the audiences that are listening. Okay? And that's the Loud Boys, everybody. It's the Loud Boys cast that's available the everywhere you find podcasts. <laughs> God fucking damn it, dude. Shannon didn't pick up. Sorry. I don't know what Dylan's like actual position is here, but I've I've seen him do stand up, and he's pretty bad at that. Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> Dalton. We literally went to the same open mics. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Like, yeah, he did really better at them. This. Yeah, dude. I, Dalton, you hang around CFC. Yeah, I no. yeah, I go to the work. I don't hang around you. You doing your career? Oh well, buddy. If you are going to talk about CFC, we can bring up your abortion I, of a battle. I, that was I the worst did. thing I've Absolutely. ever seen. <laughs> That's why you hate me, because you judged a, my battle when I was a fucking newbie here. That's the fucking hilarious part, Dylan, Zach. Dylan. Oh, Dylan, are you going to talk to your bosses like that? <laughs> why are you punching my microphones? Why are you turning into a sensitive crybaby right now? I'm listening to him loudly verbalize... He's making oh, sounds. Dude, are you gonna are you gonna fight Dalton? Is my Dylan, fucking wait, 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 Dylan. Are you really mad at? Me? Yes, he's really mad. He's Boys a sensitive are so bitch. Crazy. Dude, come on, man. I... Dylan, stop being a sensitive bitch and disrespecting our guests. What the fuck is wrong with you? This is a comedy show, dude. I I I've never seen your stand up. Exactly. You he's lucky like he's son of he's a like Dalton. everyone Dalton, else. <laughs> Dalton literally called an Uber, left Harrington at the fucking CFC. You want to talk about bullshit? This is why, because I'm a real ass fucking dude and I keep it real. <laughs> you literally called an Uber. And was like, yo, we're all going to go to this, this Halloween party. And Harrington was on acid, ready to go to this Halloween party. You know, you're friends with Harrington, right? Yes. Why'd you leave Harrington behind? Why'd you literally hop in the car? Because he was dragging his ass and the Uber was waiting no, on No, because he us. wanted to come with me. And Dalton goes, well, there's not enough room. And Dalton literally went to the party. Jipped out. I watched Harrington run down the street like, way! Wait, I don't understand what happened. Are you saying that? What the fuck he, are you talking about? I have no I honestly, slow, slow. Let, me, let me get control of this shit right now. Let me get Dylan, this shit. This, this is crazy. No, dude. this is great. No, no, dude, I like it. Dude. I like By Dylan. the way, I've dude, never had you're two. I, so fake. Yo, you literally. Whoa. Literally. Whoa. Is he gone? Just got real housewives up in here. Dylan. <laughs> 
Dylan. Dylan, are you? You're are you literally go- lying. Dylan, relax. I'm Let me fucking get control. Everyone, shut up. Let me get control of this All for right. a second. Okay, right, this, is, this is crazy. I don't okay. know what's going on. The whole thing is crazy right now. This is wild. <laughs> this is great. No, no, I like it. Dalton, you're safe. You get five more invites on this show, no matter what happens <laughs> at the end of this. You. You're fucking. Don't worry about this. This is great. <laughs> Wait, can we just recap what happened? Just everyone's like, "Hey, Dylan stinks," and then Dylan's like, "One time, Dalton got an Uber." Uh, what the <laughs> fuck? I, I know, dude. Can I tell I, you what I, 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 dude, I tried. I tried to include him on the cipher here. I tried breaking his balls, like bringing him in to let him join us, and he like became a little faggot about it. Dylan, what are you? Come on, man. I'm trying to include you in the fun. So listen, and me. you're pushing us away. This is real. I want to. I want to figure out what happened here, okay? Because this is great. I think we just nailed it. Well, what I took from the story was Dalton was going to go to a Halloween party. Harrington was on acid and wanted to go too, and they were going to go. Now Harrington was with Dylan, and are, was, Dylan, it, are you are you are you saying that they wanted to ditch you and not Harrington? They wanted to ditch Dylan. And that's why he also. By the way, bring Dylan Harrington. hasn't even said the funniest part of this. Is I was dressed up as Roseanne. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Halloween. So, so exactly like right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I was dressed up as this. <laughs> I just had some foundation on, and <laughs> I was. It was the Halloween comedy fight club. So it was me as Roseanne. I went up against Herman Cain. Destroyed, murdered. I killed Herman Cain. Dylan, and, why are you twitching? Why are you, Dylan? J- Dylan. <laughs> In the background, when but you said you, you killed, you can't say you murdered. You can't just say, "Oh, I he murdered." He just did. He did. I just did. He just he did. did. He said he murdered. Dylan, do you want to? Uh, honestly, here's what happened just now. But like, what? Because I tried to be friendly with Dylan just now. I, I saw Lewis. You were blowing up at yeah. him. You go. You're going in there and like shadow boxing him and shit. Yeah. And I could tell you were like actually angry actually, with man. him. Yeah. Very. And I was uncomfortable. Can, can I, you keep on stretching so I can see your abs more? That was phenomenal. Everything she was doing there was fucking percent. great. I totally forgot there was a girl here. <laughs> <laughs> Boys are fascinating. Are going down over absolutely nothing. It's wild, right? So I girls continue. Are but, but and I not. thought I thought to myself, as a comedian, as someone who's been doing comedy for seven years now. I thought, what better way to show camaraderie with Dylan than to break his balls a little bit? Right. And as he, we do. As yeah, we do. as we do. That's what we do, baby. And then Dylan, like, proved that he doesn't know shit about comedy. Wow. Because he became a big bitch about it when what he should have done. I mean, I guess he did also try to break my balls, but it wasn't funny. Well, one time you did get an Uber. I, well, hey, you know what? He got to do what? Hey, you know what? Fuck, one time I charged. Fuck. One time I got an Uber. You got me, dude. I had to pay someone Fucking to drive dead me. to rights, motherfucker. <laughs> Kill shot. <laughs> Dylan, I like you, dude. I think you're a cool guy. I was just trying to fuck with you. And- Dylan, you know you can't start blowing up at the guests. Yeah, man. You know you can't, right? You know you can't start freaking out in a real way at the guests because they say something you don't like, right? It's a crazy way to be. I'm a crazy the, guy. I don't know what the fuck you're I, I want you to this. hear the beat. <laughs> That's not really a beat, but you can get... I like the other one better, but it's okay. You can speak over that one. Oh, deal, deal. I just looked for a random one. Go ahead. Oh, uh, well. Get it slow. Can I pick another one? Okay, pick another one. Dylan, but here's what's happening right now. Can I point this out? Mm-hmm. Dylan's realizing. He's stalling. Oh, my God. He's realizing no, I, dude, that he fucked. He's realizing Dylan, that he was like, I shit, I was win. sensitive. I can't, can't win. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I can't win. Because it's not your job on this show to win. It's my job. You're right, Zach. It's my job to come on here, get called a bad fucking comedian, get shit on, get coffee, look at a hot girl, and go fucking home. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Hot, hot girl. Hot girl. Oh, yeah. 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 It was blah, blah, <laughs> blah, blah, job. blah, 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 hot girl. And I'm back. Tomatoes, <laughs> lamb, rams, hogs, dogs, chicken, turkey, <laughs> You name it. Yeah, Dylan, that's your fucking job. What a great job that is. <laughs> yeah, dude. You get to look at hot girls? You get come people on, coffee. Man. You get to fucking... <laughs> Dylan, here's what happens. I'm not allowed to look at girls. Here's what happened, Dalton. Okay, Dylan, Dylan's been doing a great job, and I've made a con. Dylan had another meltdown recently where he was like, "Dude, come on, man! I feel like I do a great job. You don't give me enough shit." And I was like, "All right, you're right." And I lately, if you guys noticed in the past month and a half, how complimentary I've been of Dylan, how nice I've been to Dylan, how I fucking try, I, I, to the point where I tell the audience, I'm like, I was like, "Nah, Dylan's fucking cool, dude. You guys are a little hard on him. I'm in the fucking chat." And then, no matter what I do, here we are. 
now you've just destroyed all that progress that I made for you, and now they're going to all hate you again. I haven't even looked at the chat. Dylan, read the chat right now, and I want you to read the worst messages about you specifically while the SoundCloud beat is dropped. Please, thank you very much. Dylan's going to, today's the day that he's going to start swinging. I do want to say, by the way, Dylan tried to take like a jab at me by saying I got an Uber. He did like, Dylan, do you not, I completely humiliated myself at the comedy fight club you did stand up on a few weeks ago. You could have talked about how I drank an entire bottle of soju and six white claws and tried to fist fight Harrington. Why didn't you bring that up, dude? That's more humiliating. Dylan, why, why is it that every time somebody says something to you, you Act like you no, are being. I don't want to shit on anybody. Electroshock therapy to death. Wanna... He's like ah! in the fucking booth. It's wild to watch Dylan react right now. I... Shannon's appendix is going to be the new second producer <laughs> of the <this> show. <laughs> <laughs> doggy, doggy, you got to chill, Dill. You got to chill, Dill. Bring it down. Can we get some calming music on or something? Can we? Can we? Can we? You're. You're. The problem with Dylan is this. He's good looking. He's young, he's confident, confident. His family. He doesn't money. seem confident after that little. But no, this is it. No, no, no. It is confident. It is. It's, confidence is the. It's, it's not confidence. It's he hasn't. Like d- d- right now, look at Dylan. I, I, can we get a camera on him? He's writhing in pain because the words that are being said to him are bothering him <laughs> yeah. so how, much. How, so how old is Dylan? <laughs> 23 now, right? Here, oh, you know what? It's why. not confident. Oh, but a he's wee not, lad. He's not broken yet. He's not broken, Dylan. He's not broken in. Do you know what that's I've true. dealt with? Uh, the worst thing that's happened to you this month is Dalton Pruitt said you're not funny. My mother killed herself with heroin, Dylan. My father was because stabbed Because he to wasn't death. funny. <laughs> my, father, <laughs> my father was stabbed to death outside of a strip club in Patterson, New Jersey. Yeah, because I wasn't funny. funny. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis's entire family is collapsing around him because yes, of how bad Lewis is. It is. is my comedy. son's mother took my child away from me and now dates a giant black man that I have to go and pretend to like because I'm not funny. <laughs> and she loves Blackhawk. And she loves Blackhawk mm-hmm. because I'm not funny. Do you understand how much I've dealt with? So when I see you freaking out about such a little inconsequential thing, I'm going like, well, I can't wrap my mind around it. And what I deduce from that situation is you've had a privileged life and that it's pretty fucking good for you. Because if this is that bad for... I mean, Jesus Christ, Dill. You could respond. As long as you don't freak out and start yelling at the guests and threatening people. Now he won't respond. Now Dylan, this, Dylan, is, this is the second I, stage I, of... I, I, I... Do not say quit. Do not say quit, you piece of shit. Not during the holiday Wait, season. Wait, can I, can I say something? Dylan, do you, Dylan, do you, you want to know what my hypothesis is? Go for it. You're a faggot. <laughs> 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 Walked right into it, dude. <laughs> oh, so mad. He, he keeps taking the headphones off to leave and putting them back on. <laughs> 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 You have Dalton, to come out at some point, Dalton. You have to come out at some point. Are you threatening dude, Dalton I, now? D- dude, I publicly kissed a man last night. I don't give a <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> I did Comedy Fight Club last night and kissed a dude. Why'd you kiss a dude? Because we both... We Why each not did, kiss a dude, am I right? Well, we each did jokes where the punchline was we called each other faggot. And then the audience started going, kiss, kiss, oh, nice. kiss. By the way, this is an indoor show, no masks. And so <laughs> I leaned in and planted one right on him. Hell and yeah, then the audience started going, faggot, faggot. Love so it. we all started chanting faggot. Good. But that was fun. Anyway, Dylan, you're more of a faggot than I am. And he kissed a dude and probably yeah. gave him COVID. Yeah. We kissed twice. And Dalton, uh, uh, he's on the list of, uh, you know, things that aren't good for COVID. Fat, uh, ugly. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Right? Hon- honestly, I think I'm about to flip out now. I think I'm gonna throw a tantrum. You, you th- dude, do you not call me, call me fat and ugly. Dude, do not. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I I did cross the line. I did call you a name during a comedy podcast in yeah, which we bust on. each other's balls around Leslie. We have yeah. respect here. Yeah, I'm so sorry. We definitely took it too far. Yeah, You're yeah. Right. I look, apologize. I'm I'm working on myself. Okay, I'm trying. I'm, I didn't eat any of those cookies out there. I'm I'm working on. It. Dylan's in now. Dylan's now sitting down. I feel so I, like I almost feel bad to not. I I shouldn't ask him to, but Dylan, you have. To stay, you can't sit now. You're not allowed to sit on the show. I made a rule at the beginning of the show. You know what you should make him do? Have you ever heard of Toes and Bows? What's Toes and Bows? You don't know about Toes and Bows? What's Toes and Bows? I pledged a frat for like two weeks in college. Hell yeah. And they told me. You're fat and ugly, so you can't be in? I know, pretty much, yeah. (laughs) 
Uh, but they told me about one of their hazing rituals called Toes and Bows, where you take someone into a room with a clean hardwood floor and then scatter uh, uncooked rice all over the floor and make someone get down on their elbows and their toes on top of the Ooh. rice. Toes and bows. Toes and bows. I think that's. And they have to, I think that's actually illegal for me to do to my staff. Yeah, but they have to stay like that for like an like have an hour. I don't know. I mean, just staying like that in a plank position for five minutes would be difficult without the rice. Imagine the fucking abs on you if you had finished doing that. If yeah. I'd done toes and bows, I'd be ripped. If they yeah. hadn't kicked me out, he for... started licking the rice. Like, <laughs> get the fuck out of me. Do you have any soy sauce? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I'm now watching Bobby and Eric talk Dylan down off a ledge and he's freaking out. You know what, now, though, dude? If you are, if you're lucky that this is happening to you because this is how people break you. I dated uh, someone much, much, much funnier and smarter than me for 10 years and it broke me just enough to have a personality. Yeah, so exactly. you're lucky. You're you lucky. You have to, yeah, you are, you are a hot. 23 is the worst. You're a hot young girl. That's what you are right now, Dylan. And you need to be broken and turned into a Wait, fucking. Are they really, like, is he being escorted out of here? What just listen, just. Just break, just Dude, break already. I'm honest. I might need to be escorted out of here later if he's still around. If you're, afraid, Dylan can't fight. So, uh, Bobby, what happened there? Why, why? Dylan, and the winner by forfeit. <laughs> my character. I just wanted Dylan to take a walk for ten minutes. He's coming back. He's got oh, a man. chill. I remember. Back. Oh my god, this is nothing. I remember when Patrice was alive, and he called me. He called me some kind of goofy idiot, like right away. The yeah, second I walked up to him, as I was, you should, nobody respected uh, you at first. We were like, and she's doing comedy. Yeah, you can't. This was Kurt I can't fuck funny into you. That's yeah. crazy. And then, well, I of, all the things they, of all the <laughs> I mean, things they say about Patrice, they never remember great judge of character. Yeah. <laughs> Millie, Millie, well, it was at his. Uh, it was at a cookout. It was the first time I'd like really been around. Comedy. I was so young. I was like twenty two. Right. I was this. I was exactly this. Yeah. This soft unformed creature and I went up to him to like try to be all charming and like thank you for having me this is so good I before I could even open my mouth he was like why are you wearing that you fucking idiot yeah. <laughs> it was a shirt as a dress so nice. to be fair to him he wasn't wrong but he really just like go or as there Patrice right called away. it a shirt <laughs> <laughs> and I cried I had to be fed a Xanax and you know what it's like the best thing that ever happened to me yeah. no it's not <laughs> yeah. now, I mean now you have a Xanny problem you. but it's okay a million percent when the funniest person on the face of the earth is mean to you that's not like the awesomest thing and then you just go oh that wasn't that bad can we read some of the comments sounds like uh, you're siding I have with a question. Your is, is the chat siding with Dylan right now can we get some comments from the chat the racist live chat leave Dildo alone he got one person that's on his side <clears throat> but I, I just made a career out of being made fun of I mean Zach has called me not funny eight times on this show on today's show so I can't wrap my head around why you would throw a fit by being called not funny like I that think he's just it's what we said he hasn't been broken yet yeah no. it's, a, it's an insecurity thing like like i, I maybe because I, I know i'm funny like is yeah. that i don't really think i'm that funny so it's like uh, it's you not even do it. it's not even coming from a place of like well i have the confidence of a fucking 20 year vet and i know what i i gotta get an hour it stinks uh i mean come on but you know he's got a fucking chill he's listening right i know he's listening there's no way he's not walking around on his phone right now listening to us talk to him i know i know the comedian ego dylan Let's everyone, let's everyone talk to Dylan right now. Can we all can, do me a favor? Everyone right now, go around and say something good about Dylan. He's listening right now. See if we could will him back into the studio. Something nice. Only something nice, guys. Well, here, here's the thing. No, Dalton, easy. <laughs> I know where you're going to go. Now, just fucking chill, dude. Think about it. Relax. We're trying to make Dylan come back, and we're trying to be nice to him because he's a fucking sensitive pussy, and we have to treat him as such. Okay. So, go ahead. I was just going to say... You're right. You and Dylan are both not funny. <laughs> uh, but here's the difference is Dylan is not funny and has nothing, whereas you have built all of this. An empire built on not yeah, funny. A, an empire. <laughs> th uh, this house of cards you built for yourself. You have, but you know what? You built it. It's so true. you, when someone says you're not funny, you're like, you know what? I got this nice little studio in the East Village. So, hey, who cares? But exactly. Dylan, Dylan probably has roommates. Yeah. You know, probably has dishes piling up in the sink, roaches. But he's fucking, no, I mean, Dylan's a handsome young Was man. that something well, nice? Well, that's the thing is we're all kind of We've been beaten down our whole lives. He's got. He looks like he drives his grandmother's car. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, Dylan. Uh, that, that's that's what's funny about all this is physically, Dylan is a much greater specimen than I am. Anyone, if anyone here except for Karen, she's so hot. Yeah. Fuck. By yeah. the way, my heart. Fuck. I feel so bad, Karen. You've been here. I forgot you. Why were do here. you feel bad? You, I just did. I. I keep forgetting you're here. It's what completely is, fine. What I is mean, your my, my enjoyment doesn't depend on okay. you remembering my presence. 
I just there's so much dude energy and I there's can't. A lot of yeah, dude that's energy. totally yeah. fine. I'm here with my friends, Lewis, Zach, a complete stranger. Same. These lovely people. <laughs> yeah. new, new friends. New um, friends. I mean, listen, Dylan. I'll say something nice. 23 is the perfect age to be a pussy. If he were 10 years older, I would say he's an unforgivable pussy yeah. and unfuckable. But 23 is the perfect age to get all your pussy ass faggotry out right now. <laughs> just squeeze. Just get beaten down. Cry. Cry at work. Leave work. Come back to work. Get called the pussy some more. 23. Do it. Yeah. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. Yes. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. You're, not, you're not even wrong, Garen. This is chicken soup for the pussy soul. <laughs> Yeah, a sensitive pussy soul at 23. It would be weird if you were hard at 23. You know what I mean? I was hard at 23. Well, I think we all were. That's yeah. because you were you were fat. And, that was our and, arteries. And people were mean to you. <laughs> Listen, I wasn't hard at 23, but I should have been because I was hideously unattractive as well. No, you weren't. You were always hot. No, I wasn't. I had a back brace. I met you at I had a back brace. I had acne. I, I got met her when were she was crazy. 18 years old or 19 years old. I met you. No, you I were always I hot. Time. Well, thank you so much. Where's Dylan? Is he? Did he? Is he coming back? What happened, guys? Eric, come here. Eric, oh, you missed oh, the no. kiss. Did he quit? Oh no. Do I have to fucking call <laughs> Dylan and make him not quit? Eric, you missed the kiss. <laughs> Wait, you missed the kiss. Dylan, uh, <laughs> the I like how you. It's not obvious. <laughs> it was the best thing I've ever felt in my whole entire life. What happened? Where's so, Dylan? Yeah, at? what's going on? Uh, Dylan's taking a breather. Is he gonna come back today? Oh my sweet baby. Uh, eventually, I'm just gonna be at the nearest entrance when he does walk in. Oh. Why is he trying to fight everybody? <laughs> you know I don't dime people out. Oh poor baby. But uh, uh, what the very, fuck very is very wrong with him? I, this is this, uh, this is good. crazy. Dylan's a good guy, and I think uh, he got you guys caught him on a really <laughs> bad moment. <laughs> did 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 like a relative of his die recently? Like what? What's going on? Uh, no, he um, found out he was only getting three million in his um, uh, inheritance as opposed to five. Yeah, so he's very yeah, upset. I, we should tone down that rhetoric. What the the inheritance? The I should tone down nothing. Let me explain to you something. Let me explain to you whose fucking show this is. Let me explain to you whose fucking network this is. Is this Das Digital? I think not. <laughs> it is not Das Digital. It is Gas Digital. Gomez and Sutton. Okay. So maybe he should fucking understand that he needs to stop being a sensitive little bitch or he should not produce comedy shows where we fuck with each other and bust balls. Yeah, I had this talk with him, but I'm different in a different way. Than no, I need you it. to go and say these exact words no, to him. I, I, I have, but he's cooling down. He's going to be okay. I, the, I wish what I, I wish Dylan realized is that I'm, I've hung out with him a few times. I do. I think we all like him. It's like yeah. he's a good guy. I, I really like Dylan. Yeah, I wish he realized that. Like when I took he's that right. jab at him, do what? He's all right. <laughs> yeah, he's. I, hey, look, I'm just, not my thing. I, but, yeah. I don't think it was this situation. I think it's something very much deeper than this. Yeah, and it just took a little joke to trigger. But yeah, wow. he, like I told him. Do you uh, think he's actually gay? No, uh, <laughs> he called uh, him a faggot right yeah, to his face. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> but I told him this is part of the. This is the job. You get shit on. Yeah, we fuck um, with you. Like, yeah, get, I, I, he Eric's calls retorted. Me, Look, he, he calls me. A I dumb hit him in his head. Um, by the way, do it's people know what Eric ass. does here, or is he just this random southerner that comes on <laughs> just every once I in just a while? Hang out. <laughs> yeah, people, why is this guy just walking whenever people are yelling? Yeah, yeah. I've had Lewis ream me worse than my drill sergeants ever did in my yeah, life. But you really fucked up that time. Yes, I did, and I yeah. admitted it. That's right. And but he didn't go. Oh my god, I got the fucking sky is falling. Whoa. You take it and you move on. Well, you how old on. are you? You're an adult. Uh, yeah. And you were in the military, so yes. it's gonna. You were already broken. So yeah, yeah. he's yeah. actually murdered children from middle mi the Middle East. That's hot. So, Why am I having the best time on this show? Right? <laughs> See, yeah. look, Karen's getting all wet now. It has been a good show. I love show it. Yeah, it's raining outside and in here. Hell yeah! All right, thank <laughs> okay. you very much, Eric. Hopefully, Dylan will come uh, back. Hopefully, he'll calm down and fucking realize what a fucking child he's being right now. And he can come back and fucking say, oh yeah, I'm sorry guys, I was being an idiot. That should be the end of this. He should literally, after a long walk in the rain, he should fucking stare off the fucking Brooklyn Bridge for a minute, decide not to jump, come back and say, hey dude, I'm, I was being retarded. I'm you sorry You know what guys. way he would do him a lot of good is dating Kurt Metzger for 10 years. That's true. I'll that straighten him right <laughs> the fuck out. Wait, do you think Dylan's standing on a bridge right now and a ghost appears to him to let him know what the world would be like if he was never born? <sighs> oh my God. No COVID. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs>